Hello, first off, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Rowdy Sunray Duncan. I'm indigenous, uh, Native American. I'm uh, Taos Pueblo and Cherokee, and I am a communication professor at Phoenix College here in Phoenix, Arizona in the United States. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit today on behalf of the Girl Youth Leadership uh, Girl Child Foundation. And so, um, I sit on the board and I've been in support of this organization since 2014. Uh, I met Peju back in 2014 at the Kenyan Nonviolent Conflict Reconciliation Conference, uh, where we were looking at strategies of how we can help underserved folks, uh, make a difference with folks uh, without having to use not, uh, violent methods. And uh, we were in groups together, we got to know each other really well over the, uh, the course of the time together. Uh, and I found Peju to be passionate. Uh, and very, very deeply concerned and um, looking to make a difference about trying to find opportunities for young girl child folks uh, in um, Nigeria. Uh, trying to make a difference for folks that don't have the opportunity for uh, economic expansion, widows, young children. Um, as you know, uh, patriarchal situations uh, in some of those countries are really difficult and finding a space for women to be educated, being able to support themselves by themselves is something that makes a really big difference. And uh, Peju is very passionate about, about trying to get these young children into STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, because they're untapped resources and what they can do with these high paying jobs, how they can leverage themselves as resources because they're not really being looked into or used in that way. Uh, and women do and think things differently. And uh, I think that's a great opportunity for folks out there. And the fact that she's doing this work makes a really big difference. Uh, after Peju and I became friends, she understood that my role here in Arizona is to try to create opportunities for folks that are systemically left behind by ism. So it could be racism, classism, sexism, uh, whatever, there's systems that keep people out of economic opportunity. And she knows that with my background, this would be something that I cared quite a bit about. So I've been sitting on the board and supporting uh, financially, volunteering. Uh, I'm hoping to come in the near future and be able to speak about why this is so important and how everyone can benefit from highly educated young women uh, in STEM fields would make uh, great economic booms for a lot of folks. So I'm hoping to possibly do that in the future. Um, but that's part of why Peju looked toward, to me to try to make a difference for them. Um, so again, I, I joined the board because I can help with problems of racism. I can talk to issues of sexism. I, I know how sexism hurts men. I know how sexism leaves women behind. Uh, I have ways that I can help them uh, come up with strategies to overcome some of these problems. And I also understand how classism really exploits folks in economically vulnerable situations and how we can create strategies for education for these girls to get into the workforce and then forever generationally change the output and outlook for all the young women in that family forever. Once one person gets that little bit of a step up, that family is changed forever because of the fact that the one child got educated. Over the years, it's been great to see from afar, if not in person, the things that Peju has been able to accomplish uh, with her organization. She has held five different workshops. Specifically, uh, some of them were about leadership, about health, uh, overcoming problems with AIDS, STDs. Uh, again, these are things that because of a lack of conversation, a lack of resources, people don't know how to uh, get around some of that problems. Uh, she also has done workshops on leadership for young women, as well as helping folks become more engaged citizens uh, and become engaged in the citizen process. Uh, and uh, she's worked uh, tireless over the years, uh, making connections with young folks, helping young folks get involved, volunteer, uh, start to build their own leadership capacities. Uh, she has done three different Raising Girls Ambition International Conferences. Uh, she's looking to do her fourth uh, in the very near future. And this has leveraged folks from the international community to come together to make a difference for this population specifically. So again, when we're talking about the Global Youth Leadership and Girl Child Foundation, we're talking about several lives, hundreds of lives that have been able to have been impacted over these few short years. Um, talking about helping folks, remember I talked about uh, widows. Widows don't have um, men and sometimes don't have the skills to be able to work 
and get into the workforce. They're re-educating some of those folks and allowing them the opportunity to truly stand on their own feet. Again, this economic independence is critical because abuse will happen. Uh, sometimes they'll be put in difficult situations where they're exploited by crime or criminals or asked to uh, move into lives of prostitution, all because they don't have the economic opportunity to make a difference in their communities. So again, looking at the Global Youth Leadership and Girls Child Foundation, they're coming in and they're filling that gap to make a difference. Why I'm talking to you today is because we need your help. It's critical that you become part of this movement with us. We need you to donate financially. Uh, I understand I, I haven't had the opportunity to get down there to serve myself, but I've given financially over the years and I try to make sure to help uh, in that way specifically. Also, another way that you can do this is partner. If you happen to be a business in this area, this is a great area of change to get on top of and on board with because of the fact that you have the capacity to get tapped into this young market of emerging young minds and talent and really use some of that stuff to push your yourself and them forward at the same time. Uh, and lastly, if you don't have money, volunteer. Just take some time, help people learn how to read, help people become empowered to know all they are passionate uh, and capable of, because this is something that could really make a difference for them. So lastly, uh, I wanna reiterate, please take the time to give and make a difference because we're talking about not just changing individuals' lives, but families' lives for generations to come. So with that, uh, keep in mind the Global Youth Leadership and Girl Child Foundation and the fact that you can do something to help and make a critical difference for this population. I know I care about it deeply. I'm a very busy person and I do a lot of important things, but all the time I've ever spent as part of this organization sitting on the board for it has been time well spent and well invested. And I'm sure you'll find the same thing too if you're just willing to give us a try and give of yourself.